Hey everyone, this is going to be a very quick video on inter-enterprise information systems solving inter-enterprise silos. That is so hard to say, it will never get easier for me to say. So it's a good thing I'm making an entire video about it. That being said, um, I don't think there's too much to talk about here because fundamentally it feels very much the same as uh, information silos within a single enterprise and uh, you know solving the silos there. There really isn't much difference. You can use information systems to allow the communication between different uh, organizations so that they can cooperate, you know, maybe for the purpose of making more money, or so that a customer that uses all of those different services can help synchronize the data between those different services and get a more complete picture of whatever they're working with here. Uh, the um, textbook actually talks about a, you know, a, a company that has a fitness plan for employees where they might be able to get a certain amount of payment based on uh, them doing certain exercises or stuff like that. And the employers actually would want a way of proving that the employees have done that exercise stuff. So, you know, without the information silos, right, they'd be having employees uh, do lab tests, biometric readings, uh, exercise, you know, record their exercise, diet, uh, record their weight over time, all that kind of stuff. And if changes look good in their eyes, then they'll reward that employee with compensation. And then in the meantime, health clubs have access to all this uh, membership data, class data, personal tra trainer data, and exercise performance data regarding a particular employee. Uh, and if they are doing all their exercises at home, there might be like heart monitor data, stationary bike exercise data, and watch data if they're um, you know using something like an Apple iWatch or whatever. And here's just an example of how um, a fictional company called Ares is able to uh, sort of eliminate those departmental silos by collecting data, or sorry, in eliminating those inter-enterprise silos by collecting data from all of those sources, you know, working with health clubs, working with users at home, or at least working with the um, home exercise equipment manufacturers, working with... Um, labs and personal trainers and all that kind of stuff in order to actually collect a whole bunch of information from all these information generating sources and then give reports back out to say mobile devices uh, owned by the um, particular employee or a personal trainer or their employer or all that kind of stuff so and of course all of that is being done sent to them through the cloud. They have cloud servers or access to cloud servers from another company. They generate those reports and send them out. So yeah, it, it, it's very similar in concept to getting rid of department silos. Um, that's really about all I got for this video. Not much more to it other than the fact that this idea of inter-enterprise uh, silos and trying to eliminate those is I think gaining more traction these days especially when it comes to uh, different companies that are in partnerships with each other or working together for some common good or something like that we have this idea of companies trying to hold on to all of their assets because that's the stuff that makes them money but there are times when it's beneficial to share that data because they might be able to get more, more data from someone else as a result of the trade or uh, things that someone else is able to do with their data could be beneficial to them in return. All that kind of stuff. So that's inter-enterprise silos, inter-enterprise information systems, all that stuff. And that is the chapter as a whole. Thank you all for watching.